Welcome back to Adorable American Girl. I am back again already with another dollhouse tour. I don't know what got into me. I just started getting inspired and I redecorated pretty much the entire dollhouse. And it is at a point where my dollhouse has never been before. It is not perfect. There are walls that have dings and that are missing small patches of paint from me rearranging things. But for the most part, um, I'm just really happy where my dollhouse is right now. I am going to go room by room and let you guys know where everything is from and do my best to explain pretty much what I did. What's unique about my dollhouse is that mostly everything in my dollhouse I made myself. So most of the decor items, pillows, pictures, um, things like that, wall hangings, I made them myself. Okay, you guys, so this is my doll kitchen. Neon is a Gabriella doll with a Nanea wig that I restyled and she is wearing an outfit completely made by me. She's looking a little fallish, but it's almost fall, so. This is our laundry situation right now. Obviously, I caught her in the middle of doing laundry. We're overflowing. One thing I love about this, I actually took a picture and put it on my Instagram, but one thing I loved about this basket is that everything in it is either made by me or it's Pleasant Company. The basket I got from Dollar Tree. This washer and dryer set, I got it for $5. And I printed off the principles from American Girl Ideas and made the detergent boxes. This is called dryer sheets. <laughs> and I just have it like this because it looks like I interrupted her which I did. Sorry, Dion, you can get back to laundry soon. I have the American Girl Kitchen, which gets played with a whole ton. You know, nothing has broken or anything like that. Like this definitely does get used. Starting over here in this cabinet, I love for my dollhouse to look super neat. Um, that's because I'm just, that's just the type of person that I am anyway. But at the top, I have like baking stuff. Everything is either American Girl or Willy Wisher. Down here, I have some drinks, which kind of doesn't make sense because, you know, drinks would be in the refrigerator. I don't know if this is a cabinet or refrigerator. I treat it as both, I guess. And then here, I just have two American Girl mugs. And this bottom refrigerator, I have more food, drinks. I really want more doll food. I just haven't really invested in that lately. And here I have some of the boxed items that actually come with the kitchen. So like the pet food, which we do have a pet here. We have two pets. Hey, where'd it go? I had Garfield right here. Also have some cereal. And then the next thing I think is oatmeal. These boxes are really good quality. And here I have nothing. Here I have the, oh, the bread. Seems a little stale, huh? The bread that comes with the kitchen set. Um, what's really cool is that the bread actually fits in that toaster and it pops up and everything. Super, super cool detail. And I also have got the waffle maker. And I love that the waffles like do in the shape of a heart. Some more American Girl food. This came with the sleepover set. And then I just have lasagna out and I have paper plates because no one wants to do dishes tonight. Trying to make it funny. No, I just sound silly. Okay. Anyway, I have paper plates because they're pink and cute and, you know, one less dish to wash. Then we have the lasagna dish, which I love. I think it's so adorable. Um, up here, I have the American Girl mixer, which really works. Um, right here, I just have the butter, a glass with a couple of flowers in it. Back here, I have a print off that I, that says uh, Aloha. I thought it was super cute. I just love the Visco theme, so I'm just going with like beachy girls in here. I have my recipe box with very used recipes and the olive oil, and then I have salt and pepper right there. Right here on the wall is a wall hanging that I made. Um, this one's really, really simple. It just has like some yellow embroidery on it, embroidery string, just to kind of like tie in with that painting back there. Also lots of plates right here. Also have bowls. 
behind the kitchen the pizzas so this one is the one that came with the newest set from American Girl this one which is falling apart a little bit because Bella is eating a slice in the living room so large that they don't really fit on the counter spaces anywhere have a place where your dog can eat drink and a little bell it has a chalkboard here someone stole my pen i don't know where it is so. there he is he is another one of the pets vintage awesome amazing garfield love him now the bathroom has some chipped missing paint so don't pay too much attention to that but our bathroom is going again with the beach theme and i just really love how it came together so this piece right here is a macrame piece that i made myself um i got lazy and didn't finish the bottom half so i just made it kind of look like that in this aqua color you know that i got the my life as toilet shower and vanity combo and I actually sold my american girl one just because I like this one so much better. The toilet does make sound, but you know, I like, I don't really play with it. I just think it's super cute. Right here, we have the shower. This is the My Life at Shower, but it did not come with the shower curtain. I actually made the shower curtain custom for my dolls. We always keep shampoo and conditioner because the dolls have a lot of hair. They're super cute. And right here, I just have another wall hanging that i made myself a plant from the dollar section at target then we have some lotion a starfish from my disney animator ariel who's upstairs empty bottle of something and some nail polish then i have two towels from the american girl and in here i just have some more bathroom accessories sometimes i try to hide them a really big wall canvas actually just a piece of paper but it is of a beachy scene and i just felt like it tied in with the bathroom really nicely it's just people on surfboards which looks so relaxing and fun this bathtub is actually from our generation i traded it for the american girl one because i just i like this one better i thought it was so cool and i personally would love a tub like this we got a little cute loofah this is from our generation these accessories came with the spa tub and like the water work this draws out i mean it's as realistic as it gets so cute you can definitely find it on target.com if you're interested in that one it is oh this one is our generation it came with the tub i did have one from american girl but i think i sold it i also have this vanity and i have toothbrush and toothpaste those are both american girl accessories i refuse to sell those when i sold the other vanity <laughs> this vanity does turn on which i think is super cute and underneath right now i don't really usually keep much under here one of my favorite rooms in the house and bella is chilling <laughs> she's eating some pizza and if you look on my instagram i photoshopped an image of um mean girls so i'll probably photoshop or put something right there for you guys right now she's watching devil wears prada <laughs> so yep there's bella can't really make that photoshop move with me so i can only put it there for a minute um here's an overview of the living room all right, let's start over here. So the biggest question that I get about this room is where the sofa is from. And this sofa and ottoman is both from Kitty Pie Dog Holding on Etsy. It's really popular on Instagram and it's popular in doll houses. The pillows, I didn't get the pillows that she had come with her sets because I had something else in mind. All the pillows in my dollhouse I made anyway, but I made, let's not knock things over. So these pillows I made myself. I'm so proud of them. I think they're super cute and they just kind of scream urban outfitters. Like it's definitely something you can find in the store, right? I love them so much. This blush colored one, um, this one is hand knitted by me. And then um, this a yellow pillow 
is um, like a mustardy color and it's velvet, so cozy and cute. Black Mirror I got from Dollar Tree and I was debating if I wanted to paint it gold, but I really like it black because the butterfly canvases right here, a bit of black in them. Um, I made these myself, but I love how these came out. I did have a pink one in here before, but I changed it because I really wanted this orange butterfly. This tray came from the Our Generation Fireplace set which I love um, and I can't wait to bring it out during Christmas time. This um, sparkling drink and popcorn are both from sets from American Girl. And like I told you guys, Bella is eating a slice of that pizza right now. I usually don't eat on the sofa, but it's, you know, it's a movie night, so she's just chilling. This little blanket I made myself, I just cut a piece of fabric, fuzzy fabric. Second pet, Meatloaf, because we do have Garfield. So this is Meatloaf, and um, he is always in this position because he's always begging for food. I made her entire outfit. She is wearing a Fun in the Sun Laguna Beach top, which I am so proud of. I made the graphic and everything inspired by a Brandy Melville top I saw, and she's wearing distressed denim. Super, super cute. I'm really proud of her outfit, and you guys know I've come a very long way with how I sew. On this side of the room, I have the American Girl TV cart. I don't even know what to call it. TV set. This is retired, which I was so surprised when they retired this one. I'm gonna make the dolls like watch things. I love to put it on this one. It makes it look like they're watching Netflix. And then I also like to kind of leave it blank and Photoshop my own image in for Instagram. This microphone for karaoke. This DVDs. I believe this came out like right around when Grace came out. This is from an American Girl sleepover set, Apples to Apples. And it is the real game in here i actually own this game in real life i own the red one i have a candle this is a real candle from bath and body works and it smells like vanilla i got that from a garage sale for about a quarter i think so this little um garden pot i love i got this actual plant from daiso and then i hot glued those daisies on it or sunflowers i'm not exactly sure what they are but they match the butterfly, so I really, really love that. Uh, I'm so in love with it. I'm so happy I got it. I feel like it goes with the room really, really well. It was $15 and it's a part of the locker section. Hopefully I wasn't covering the mic too much, but it's a part of the locker section, so it's super, super cute. So back there I have another wall hanging. It's super cute. Um, it's just a macrame. Right here on the TV cart, I have a chunk of Himalayan salt. <laughs> which actually came from five below right here i have a butterfly pillow this is inspired by an urban outfitter shirt i have this grid i was so excited to find this you guys i actually got it from five below it was three dollars um i found one at target for six dollars it was actually almost seven it was gold but like I said, I do like the black because it ties in with the butterflies. And on the grid, I just have some photos that I um, printed off myself. And this is a Pleasant Company flower that goes on one of the hats that we have, but I just took it off and put it right there. This is just an American Girl magazine. I just put it here because it's cute. This little rug I cut and made myself. And then this chair is from Garage Sale that I got for 50 cents. I'm so proud of it. It's been with me since I really started collecting. Um, I used to hardcore garage sale so that I can buy um, things for my dolls. So that is one of those things that I just feel like is perfect for my dollhouse. Oh, I forgot the rug. The rug is a actually a placemat from Opal House at Target. Um, I found a bunch of rugs that go so good with my dollhouse. So. so happy i'm finally able to do this video and document what everything looks like the whole dollhouse is now my favorite because i just feel like i've been able to add a lot of detail but i do love how this room came out i've changed a lot so let's start on this wall here this is a photo grid wall i see these all over youtube and um, I found this one on Pinterest, printed it out and cut it and put it on this doll wall. So it looks like that. And this right here is the American Girl canopy bed. 
it was blue, but I spray painted it white because I felt like every time I wanted to change a room, it was really hard for me to work around that blue color or have to work it into something. And I was really going for a specific look with my dollhouse, spray painted it white. Um, I actually had sold all the bedding and everything, but recently just bought some tool to go back through the top so that I can have that same look. And I just strung some twinkle lights through. Back there on the wall is just some embellishment from the craft store. I just cut it and stuck it on the wall right there. And then of course, all the bedding, all the pillows I made myself. I'm so, so happy with it. I have this Ford truck. Isn't it cute? That is the cutest truck. I would literally drive that. And then right here, I have these stackable shelves I got from Target. Most of these were broken, so I got them for about a $1.30 a dollar and 30 cent um which i was really happy about they originally were five dollars i think on top i have a bottle of sand from the beach and some sunscreen i just put the little flower on top because i have these flowers all over the dollhouse then i have a tripod right there it's one of my favorite plants i actually like take this out and put it in different pots all the time <laughs> Then I have this dusty tray from the Dial Target dollar section. This is too. This picture right here, picture frame is from the dollar store. And that picture is from one of my favorite um, AGIGs. This plant is from Target dollar section. It was only a dollar and it's so cute. Then I just have a snooze a palooza. I think it's just like what you could do at a sleepover since my dolls are having one big sleepover all the time. Small accessories, kind of like just a junk drawer. And here I have all the doll socks because I love doll socks. And then here I have the camera that came with Z set. Right here I have some Pleasant Company sandals. They look like Birkenstocks. This rug came from Target as well from the Opal House Collection placemats. <laughs> I love it so much. I think it's super cute and it makes it like, I don't know, really seem beachy in here. Just have some Pleasant Company shoes. As you can tell, I'm a huge Pleasant Company fan. It's another wall hanging that I made. I don't even know what to call this room, but I really, really love it and the dolls love it too. <laughs> The third floor of the dollhouse her whole outfit i made myself again let's start over here this is samantha's retired bed on um, pleasant company i spray painted it white i know like it was it was brassy and fading anyway so i went ahead and spray painted it white because like i said well the gold color isn't hard to work around but i just wanted a certain feel in the dollhouse so i went ahead and spray painted it it's not perfect but I really, really like it. This picture looking thing is just a print off. I printed it off of Pinterest. It's from this girl right here. All this bedding I made myself. Um, I knitted this blanket. I made the this part and all the pillows. This one I hand knitted. This one I love so much because it says, Aloha. So, so cute. Hanging on the bed, I have a flannel that I made, and this is a Pleasant Company hat. I love Pleasant Company. <laughs> um, right here, I just did a video on this lamp from Daiso. This plant is from the dollar section at Target, and this is Z's camera. And these drawers, this one's stuck. I don't feel like trying to pry it open, but there's nothing in this one down here. This came from Michael's. I distressed it, kind of, sort of. Don't really know how to distress, but I tried to make it look like worn and beachy. This rug I got from Target as well, Opal House Collection. I just felt like it looked like a beautiful rug. This is um, my doll, Vanity. I wanted a different one, but I could not find it anywhere. But this wall hanging right here just has seashells on it. And here is the vanity. It did come with a proper stool, but I took the stool from our generation closet and put these pom-poms on it. This is what the top of the vanity looks like. So on top of the vanity, I have a picture over here. Right here, I have this seashell type of tray. Got this from a garage sale. 
and I just have a scrunchie that I made in it. Right here I have my Disney Animators Collection doll. I love her so much. She is gorgeous. Um, she makes you want to create an entire room around her. I was doing a mermaid theme room, but so many people have mermaid rooms. I really wanted to do something different. So I put a yellow flower in her hair, made her visco, and stuck her on top of this vanity because I think she's beautiful and I would love to have her in real life, like a big one in my room. She's so gorgeous and definitely my favorite Disney princess aside from Cinderella's. Here is my doll's laptop. It is a MacBook Pro. I really wish Mac made their devices white like this again. I loved the white devices, but by the time I was old enough to afford one, they had stopped selling them. It's actually just a mirror. I have two that actually had the Apple logo on it, but um, they broke. I love every one of these things except for Friends. Um, I'm more of an Office fan. <laughs> textbook, a science textbook because my dolls are homeschooled. <laughs> random this flower that i just stuck a flower in in this pot i always switch these out with different flowers and then i have some geek looking nerdy glasses that i got from my life as and last but not least i have the chair to go with my sofa and ottoman set um another pillow i made i have a mini sage doll whom I love. She is actually my one of my favorite girl of the years and I actually wanted the big doll of her but have not <clears throat> yet purchased it. Um, she is the redhead that I want but I would actually have to pay quite a bit. So yeah, maybe one day I'll get the big one. And right here I have um, just an American Girl shopping bag and it has a couple of really adorable Journey Girl purses in it. Rest in peace, Journey Girls, although they said they're coming back. So with that being said, it is a different day and my voice got so raspy and crackly and tired from talking, I decided to just pop in and do a voiceover for this part. Um, if you stay to the end, then I'm just going to talk about what the dollhouse is and where it's from. So this is a My Girls dollhouse. I got it from Amazon. They also sell it on Target.com and Kohl's.com. The one that I originally wanted was the modern one that had six cubes um but they were sold out of that one when i was trying to buy this i've had this dollhouse for a year and um my hand is like going opposite of what i'm saying but anyway <laughs> i've had this dollhouse for a year and i love it i know some people were saying that the floors sink but the floors don't sink for me i've never had a problem with that i'm not exactly sure what they're putting in their dollhouse um the color on the outside of the, doll, the dollhouse is like this greenish, muted greenish color, which I actually really like and prefer over the other one. Um, I totally recommend this dollhouse, especially if you want to customize it yourself. I personally painted every single room in this dollhouse, which was so much work. I am not a fan of totally painting. I wish I could change that, but I painted every room white and I had to paint on top of laminate. So it took a lot of work and um, that's why some of the rooms are chipped and they're missing paint because it's a very slippery underground surface, however you wanna say that. Other than that, I really love this dollhouse and I totally recommend it. I'm gonna put the dimensions down below, but if you can see um, at the top here, Megan is touching the roof right here, but all the other ceilings are at least 24 inches high. So it's lots of room for the dolls to stand up. As you can see, I have a huge canopy pad in here. Um, everything fits great. So if you're looking into purchasing this dollhouse, I am gonna put a link down below. Um, this dollhouse this did cost me almost $300, but I feel like that's the exact same amount it would take at the least if you want to build your own. I waited a few years before I purchased a dollhouse, but all of my items are in the dollhouse. Um, I don't have anything outside or lingering. I have no extra furniture or um, sets. I downsized and all my doll stuff is in here aside from like a very, very, very small basket of clothes. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a pleasure to make and I am just so thrilled that I was actually like pretty much completed my dollhouse. Like I said, there are some things that I want to change here and there, but for the most part, I am loving the way this looks. Leave me a comment down below what your favorite room is, and please leave me a comment down below if you have a dollhouse tour on your channel because I would love to watch it. 
Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up that helps your algorithm so that YouTube knows more things that you want to watch and it helps me to make more videos that you like. Don't forget to subscribe and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.